1.13 in the morning. Welcome to what will be a very short vlog. Let me apologize now. Car is in for service. I dropped it off this morning. I have a rental that I'm going to be using for the next few days. It's a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Look at this. Big thank you to my grandfather for making life easy for a few days here. We have the Mercedes, the Daimler AG uh, 42 Passion Coupe uh, with the F1 gearbox here and the uh, rear mounted V16. And uh, I found a problem with this car. The, the first 10 minutes I'm driving it, the radio doesn't work. That's annoying. Why doesn't the radio work? So, you know me, we've gone to, we've gone to business here a little bit. We pulled the radio out. Look how easy this car is to disassemble. Just about the same as, well, even easier than the M5, and the M5 isn't bad. So, here's all the radio wires. One, I found a few schematics online. Actually, let's do the intro now. Anyway, so I found the fuses online <clears throat> of where they are. They're down here, passenger footwell. They're up there on the ceiling in there. You can't see anything. <clears throat> There's like six fuses that can control the radio. So I pulled all of those. They're all fine. Pulled the radio. In the back of the radio, there's another fuse. And uh, it's dicked. I took it out. I don't even know where it is right now. Here it is. It's in my pocket. Can you see? The two metal contact points in there are broken where they should loop around. So this is garbage. So it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I just went over to Walmart. And for... A dollar and 97 cents, I got this. I got five of them. Now the little thing inside, instead of an upside down U, it looks kind of like an S. I'm hoping that doesn't matter. I'm gonna throw one of these, plug it in, and I'll uh, let you know if it works. All right, so it's been 45 seconds. Put the fuse in, plug the wires back in. Boom, boom, radio fixed, friggin' right. It's as easy as pulling like six screws and the, the radio bezel, which I think I stuffed back here. Yep, there's the bezel for it. So we're gonna snap that back on. The deed is done, radio works. Just like that, completely put back together. Didn't lose one screw, didn't break one clip, just fixed the radio. I love working on cars when things go well. So easy. All right, I read, or I think I remember that there's a 3.5 mil input in the glove box. This is a, damn it, this is an 08, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's there. So I'm gonna open that up. Maybe he's got like meth in here, I don't know, you guys are gonna see with me. Um, elderly gentleman bug glasses, that's a standard for these cars. Yep, there it is, 3.5 mil. All right, I'm gonna go grab a mail to mail cable and see if that works. Dude, this thing is pimped now. Check this out. Music being controlled from here. Play, or pause, play. Change our song, Colt. Oh, yeah. But look, what is this? Oh my God. The Smart is ready to go. Advanced logic mode is on. Too bad we only have 70 horsepower. Yeah, so this is my setup for the week. 2008 Smart, auxiliary input working very well. My phone's dead, so we're using the Mac. And the Valentine, just plugged in old school <laughs> behind the mirror, and then using the visor mount, since I left the uh, suction mount on the M5, so. I think this will do for the week, and uh, it'll be fun. All right, so that's all done. Now, the other thing I fixed today. Last few weeks, it assigns my router my um, so Motorola surfboard router that is a modem and a router from Time Warner. It assigns the same IP address to my 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina and my mom and sister's 13 inch Retina. Um, so only one of us can be on at a time. I turn off Wi-Fi, it boots them off, they turn off and then re-enable Wi-Fi, it boots me off. I got tired of that. Um, finally, yesterday, the antenna in the modem slash router died. It no longer broadcasts any signal. Uh, it's definitely a hardware issue. I tried to do software, hard resets, firmware reflashes, stuff like that. Nothing worked. So we went over to Best Buy today and fixed our problem. We're still using that as a modem, and that is the new router. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Anyways, 802.11 AC. The range is incredible. I've, I'm getting like all five signal strengths in my garage before I got nothing. 
Um, it connects immediately. No more waiting for 45 seconds of acquiring addresses when you resume your computer from sleep. Uh, many devices work. I have a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz network now, as well as a guest network with a separate authentication method. So, got that fixed. So, today has been a day of fixing and working with problems and getting that done. I'm very tired. It's 141. I'm going to go upstairs and wrap this up. I'm sorry that today sucked and it's all filmed in the last half hour, but I'll try to do better tomorrow. Getting the car back Thursday. Very much looking forward to that. 70 horsepower. Feels very different than 400. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.